long time no see. So I know I haven't uh, posted any videos in like two weeks. Uh, I'm sorry. I've really missed filming. I truly have. And I had all these really great ideas about videos that I wanted to film. Um, but yeah, things have just been kind of crazy <laughs> for the last two weeks. Um, if you guys follow me on my Instagram, which if you don't, it'll be linked just down here. Um, my car actually died two weeks ago on my way into work. So I now no longer have a car. So that's been fun. Um, I've kind of just been sharing cars with Brandon um, at the moment and like taking him to work and then I take the car to work and anyway, irrelevant. Um, but yeah, so that's been kind of a bit hectic at the moment and I've just been working, um, obviously. But yeah, so um, I really wanted to post a video this week. So I thought I would just do a really sort of quick, simple like week in my life uh, sort of vlog because I feel like people really like these videos. I mean, I know I like seeing people's weeks in their lives. Hey guys, editing Steph here. Um, so just a quick interruption. I decided not to make this video a like week in my life vlog um, just because it was too long. So I've decided to just leave it as its own separate thing. Um, but if you guys do want to see me do like a week in my life vlog, do let me know down in the comments below. Um, but otherwise, yeah, just continue with the video. Anyway, as you guys saw, um, I just made myself some mac and cheese for lunch. Um, I'm so hungry. I just finished work and I didn't eat breakfast because I overslept. So... Yeah, but um, yeah, I am starving, so this is going to a treat. So good. Craft mac and cheese. Mmm, so good. So anyway, um, yeah, I've just finished work, obviously, for the day. Came home to make myself some lunch, um, but I also came home to a little bit of a surprise. So, um, I came home to a package from Princess Polly on my doorstep. Now, I did order this, um, and I'm going to show you guys what it is in a second, but firstly, I just need to kind of explain something before I go into that. So as you guys know, and pretty much the entire world of YouTube, um, Jeffree Star and Jane Dawson came out with a makeup palette, and I watched the entire docu-series that Shane made, as long as I'm pretty sure most of you did too, um, and I've just been so inspired recently to start wearing makeup again. Now, I have not really been wearing makeup and I haven't really worn makeup for probably, I would say, at least five or six years. Um, and it's not because I don't like makeup. I really do. I'm not very good at it. Um, but the reason I stopped wearing makeup originally was because I had a really bad reaction to something. I ended up with, like, chemical burns all down my face. Um, so, and I still to this day don't, don't know what it was that caused the reaction. But to be safe, I threw out all of my makeup. Everything that I ever had, I just threw it all out. And to be honest, most of it was pretty old anyway, so it was no great loss. But um, yeah, I threw everything out and I never really worried about getting it again. Um, but since obviously watching Shane's series, I've been inspired again to start playing with makeup and wearing makeup again. So um, now again, I just want to say, like, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't really know much about makeup. I never really wore it growing up because, to be honest, my mum never really wore makeup, so I never really learned how to do makeup. And she never really wore makeup either because her mum never really wore makeup either. So everything I know about makeup or that I did know about makeup growing up was because of things I just learned on my own or things that my friends taught me. Um, but now with the wonderful world of YouTube, I've been watching so many tutorials recently on makeup and just learning so much and becoming so inspired. And if you follow me on Instagram, which again you should, it'll be linked down here, um, I did post a photo of myself in my very first attempt at playing with makeup in like five years. Um, you should go over and check that out. Um, it wasn't horrible, but there's a lot of things I'm still playing with and figuring out. Like I've discovered that I have hooded eyes, which means that eyeshadows are just crazy. So I've been watching a lot of videos um, and YouTube tutorials about how to who and how to apply eyeshadow for hooded eyes. Anyway. That's my family. But back to the package. I unfortunately missed out on the conspiracy palettes when they were released. I I just didn't get in there in time to get any. So I'm waiting until they restock to buy it. But in the meantime, I've been looking online at a lot of the Jeffree Star cosmetic stuff. And oh, it's just so pretty. And um, so I decided to purchase some Jeffree Star products and Princess Polly actually had them on her on their website. So I purchased them through Princess Polly and the package came in today and I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys and we're going to see exactly what it is that I got. So, sorry about the weird angle. I currently have you guys balancing onto tissue boxes because I don't know where my tripod is. It just seems to have grown legs and walked away. 
So yeah, so I'm gonna have to be like squatting for this whole thing so you guys can see everything. Um, but yeah, so I am so excited for this unboxing. I'm just gonna stop rambling, I'm gonna open this because I'm so excited. I had to like restrain myself from ripping this open when I walked in the door because um, I wanted to film myself actually opening it and showing you guys my genuine reaction to what it is and how it looks. So, oh, you have no idea how excited this is making me. And I just have to say one thing, I've never actually really purchased anything from Princess Polly before, but their shipping is, in, is insane. Like, I placed the order for this like Sunday, no, it was Friday. Friday and it was like delivered like two days later so I'm uh, kind of happy about that <laughs> no need you no more all right so what is this so I don't know it's scanner label I don't know what that is don't need that anyway so oh I'm so excited oh okay Okay, so first we'll look at the lipsticks. So um, I got two lipsticks. First lipstick I got was the unicorn one. Now again, I don't really know much about makeup and I've kind of just been playing around with stuff and all the stuff that I currently repurchased because I went out and actually repurchased like all my makeup from scratch, everything. Um, and because I'm mostly just starting out, so I kind of just purchased a lot of drugstore stuff just to get me going until I sort of learned some more skills. Um, but I, there's not a lot of lipsticks out there that I've actually found that I actually really like. Um, I like long wear lipsticks just because obviously with what I do for work, I make coffees for a living and I like to drink coffee as well. So I like something that I can just sort of throw on in the morning, leave, don't have to worry about it throughout the day and just you know, maybe, maybe reapply it maybe once. Uh, and that's it. But anyway, um, I can't stop rambling today. I'm just so, if you guys can't tell, I'm excited. And when I get excited, I ramble. So, whew. The first lipstick we're looking at is Unicorn Blood. Okay, so, I mean, the packaging's cute. It looks a lot more brown than it did on the website. It was supposed to be like a deep red. But we're going to swatch. So, first of all. Kind of smells like van mm. like vanilla, kind of. Anyway, so we're gonna swatch. Oh, okay. Now I see. Okay, so it's like a brownie red. That is really pretty. Oh, I like that. I really like that one. That's cute. So I reckon this would be good on like a night out, like a nice like bold lip. The next one I got was Fully Nude, if you can see that one. Um, again, i kind of more drawn to like the pinks and the nude color lipsticks. So I thought I would buy obviously one of each. And this one, okay, I just say the packaging. The packaging is so cute. This is the Vela Liquid Lipsticks. So obviously this one is a nude and again we're just gonna we're just gonna swatch oh yeah no that's pretty I really like that one you guys can see that's a really pretty like nude color that I reckon I reckon I could probably wear that every day to be honest it's it's actually really nice and they feel really smooth and silky too so again I'm not a beauty guru so I'm just going off generally what I think these look like and how they are, but my big exciting. Oh. So we have the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette, and it's <laughs> so pretty. I know this is not exactly a new one, it came out last year, but like I said before, I've only just recently gotten re sparked my love for makeup, so. This is what I could get. Um, now we're going to open this up and have a look. Oh my god. <laughs> I am speechless. Like, oh my god, can you see how pretty these are? Like, oh my god. And they're really like sort of nice neutral colours that you could wear every day. Oh my god. I mean... There are some that I'm not quite sure how exactly I'm going to play with, but um, oh, like these like first three up here, they're like sort of the sugar cane, cake mix, uh, tongue pop, candy floss. Like I'm definitely going to use all of those ones. Uh, maybe this will even sort of inspire me to try looks that I don't 
try looks that I never normally would. Um, but yeah, I mean, oh, they're just so pretty. Like, I want to swatch the colour so badly, but I also don't want to ruin, like, the, the pan. Oh, okay. I think I, need, I think I need a minute. I think I need to give myself a minute. Um, we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back and obviously changed location. I've calmed down. I finished my lunch. I made myself some iced tea. We are good now. Quickly before I continue. So I hope you can hear me because it's currently raining at the moment and the lighting's really weird. But anyway, now I'm going to swatch the blood sugar palette and it's going to be good. Uh, to be honest, I'm probably thinking I'm going to start with this uh, first one here with Candy Floss. So, um, and again, I'm not a makeup person, so if I'm swatching this completely wrong, I'm sorry. Don't come for me. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to get our finger and just, we're going to swatch. Oh, it feels so creamy. So, and it's looks very pigmented so first swatch okay so it's very very subtle I don't think I, I don't know if I put enough on my finger we'll try again with another swatch oh yeah that's better I didn't, I didn't have enough <laughs> so that's the first one which if you guys if you guys can see let's not get my face out of it so that's the first one. Um, it is really like smooth and velvety and just feels really nice. Um, and I'm so sad that I've actually, that I've now ruined the uh, the pan, but oh, that is so pretty. Okay, we're gonna swatch the next one. I want to swatch uh, this one called Sweetener just here. Um, we'll swatch. Ooh. Okay. Very shimmery, very sheer. You guys can see that. Um, I'm already in. I'm already in love with this palette. To be honest, like I just, just the colors and it just feels nice. I'm just okay. Right, the next. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna do is um, okay. Probably this. So probably this one here called. It's called Coma. It's a very like. <laughs> very dark purple which to be honest I don't know if I'm going to use that one that much um, I'm probably more going to stick to like the neutral tone ones just so while I'm starting out um, but yeah but we'll swatch this one so again see how gorgeous this is and I just love the pan and what he's oh, I always feel really bad for destroying the pans um, but anyway so we're going to try Chroma oh <laughs> that one's bright <laughs> swatch it on her hand Okay, so again, I don't think I'm swatching these properly. I I don't know, but like, it's actually not that dark on my skin to be honest. I mean, maybe it looks darker on camera, but I don't think it's actually that dark to be honest. But it's still really pretty. Like, you guys can see my fingers. Um, so that's the Chroma. Um, I'm just I'm obsessed already to be honest, and. I don't know what to say to be honest it is it is gorgeous again I'm just gonna say I'm not a beauty guru I don't know a whole lot about makeup but if you guys would like to see me do a makeup video where I actually try and create a look with this palette um, please let me know in the comments down below and I will happily do that um, but again like I said I'm learning <laughs> so please be easy on me if I do end up doing one of those videos um, yeah, if you guys have any like tips tricks or like advice for someone who's starting back out in makeup um, Please feel free to leave me anything like that in the comments as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm so blown away with how pretty this is. And like, the packaging, like, can we just talk about the packaging? Like, I've been watching so many of Jeffrey's videos recently and like, he, when he makes something, he makes it good. Like, this is, it just feels so pretty and it just, I love the fact that it's, like the size, it's a nice, nice size. Like I mean, it's it's big. It's a big palette for like what I usually have, which is like these little like square palettes that you buy from like the drugstore. Like this is like the most expensive makeup item I have ever brought in my life. But 
I'm so excited to play with it. So if you guys want to see me create a look with this palette, um, please let me know and I will definitely film that video. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to go. <laughs> I've just got myself all worked up into a tizzy and I feel like I need to calm down. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll just talk to you guys later. Yeah, it's me again. Um, so I didn't actually film an outro for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new, please consider hitting the red subscribe button down in the corner. Also, if you did like this video, I will link a playlist of some of my other videos on the screen. Um, I would really appreciate it if you would check it out because it does really help my channel for you guys to see more of my videos. Um, and that is all. And I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.